What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a new video. This video up here, just got a little vlogging it up around town, cut doing up a couple spots, and I'll sort of end of this video. Nice little stack of some movie reviews. I got some stuff to talk to you about. So some stuff that just came out recently, about to come out this upcoming week. So let's get down to it now. Right now it is Saturday, and my friend of mine, uh, Carla, her sister-in-law is opening up like a food truck or like a food spot. So she invited me to go out there right now. So I'm gonna go there right now and kind of like a, like a, like a soft opening of it and try to sample some of the good Mexican food and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go there right now to kick off this day and this vlog and then from there, see what else we get into and things like that. It's good right now. We're at the food truck. And my friend Carla, like her sister-in-law, it's like they're set up. It's like dedicated to her mom, uh, Monica's Kitchen. Her name's Sandra, the dedicated to her mom's her mom passed away. So all these recipes are from her family. So I'm gonna check it out right now. Yeah, it was a nice opening ceremony of the food truck to kick it off. I'll give you some more information where it's at in San Diego. Go to it right now. You guys, the menu of how it is right now. Here's like a nice rundown of it. And good deals going on. This is all like family recipes up here. Flatas, which are like roll tacos, really, really good. Can't wait to try those out. I'll give you some flatas, get those in a bit, get some street tacos, some pollo, autobata, drinks, all like really good good deals, good price. Like, I'll show you guys a little bit inside the food truck too. It's like really busy right now with all family and friends. Yeah, people getting all the goods and that kind of thing. It smells really, really amazing. Miss Carla! The beautiful, the beautiful, Mori Hermosa, Carla. It's been, it's, been, it's been a while since we did a it video is. together. Like way too long. Way too long, yeah. I'll show a little clip from like back in the day, probably before I had the beard. Last time we did a video. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was, it was like yeah. a while ago, way too long. We, we got to go down there again and party it up. Party Things up. like party it up, but yeah. this is so good, cool. this is so cool. Thank you, yeah, guys. Like, hope to see you here. Yeah. Oh, it is really good. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I can't wait to try it out. I was like, oh my God, they, it's like the flautas. I'm like, oh my God, they're all hooked up. Like all, all, her, all her family, so it's really, really cool. And it uh, should be good. So with model cars, I could dress down below. You guys can you know, see her San Diego, all up and down the block, right around there, like for this food truck. Oh my goodness, now, now let's go get some food, huh? You're gonna love the food. Yeah, oh my God, look at the food, look at that. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, the right there. Oh my God. The right here, you know it. Oh my God, that looks amazing, it looks so good. 100%, 100 recommend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mile of cars starting. Start. This Tuesday? That's right, over here. Right, so it's right down the street over here. Mile of Mile Cars. Of cars starting. Very, yeah, it's right here. Highlight. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's not the tequila, folks. It's not tequila. We're it's good. We're good. Tequila, we're good. Yeah. We're good. We're good. But yeah, yeah. We, we, I wish it was. It'd be, it'd be awesome to have some right? tequila. But, so so we have some, some flautas for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Monica's, Monica's kitchen. kitchen truck. Best oh, yeah. Ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. We're going to run down behind the scenes where the food is being made up here. Let's go do it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. The action going on. I think it's some funny asada going on. Oh, the goodness happened. Oh, my God. Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. 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 Oh, it's looking good, smelling good. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my God. It looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, my God. Woo. And we got the flautas right up here. There's like flour, you know, there's like little tacos. Yeah, hook it up right here. Oh, oh yeah. I get the deal right oh here. Oh my god, it's the hugest case the ever. <laughs> See how you do it. Wow. Grab it. Yeah, you grab it up. You go like that, <laughs> and that's how you do it. That's how you do yeah, it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh okay, my yeah. god, I'm about to get one of those. Yeah, yeah. That is huge. Monica's kitchen, you know. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Mmm. So good. Boom! Right now, you can tell it is nighttime. I was kicking out, hanging, uh, I was chilling with Carla for a while, so it was cool, I had a good time hanging out and things like that. I was like, I get going, so it was fun. But now it's nighttime. It's like, oh my goodness. We yeah, had good, good stuff right there. And I said, this coming up Tuesday, if you want to check out Monica's Kitchen, it'll be uh, coming up Tuesday, I think, till the weekend over in the National City Mile of Cars. I'm like, I think 17th Street to 24th Street. So check it out. Good, good stuff right there. Link down below. You know, if you want to check out what the address and things like that. Now it's the nighttime. Kind of roaming around, perusing around. Um, I don't know why. What, what the heck, right? Uh, 
that's what we do sometimes. Walking around here aimlessly at night. It's kind of cold out too. It's like just a crispy night in here in San Diego. Definitely uh, chilly. Here's some people over there. What's going on? I heard some like noises back there. It was just some people walking drunk. But yeah, it's 53 out. Look at those things, like those weird. What are those? those like they're almost like like shadows, but they're like like little um, statues on the fence. They look like creepy ghost looking people right there. They have that kind of look. I was like, what the heck is that? Sort of insignia for something. I don't know. Let's go see what this is. I have no idea what this even is. The random things you do at night in between a video is things like this, but it's, it's fun like that. It's all locked up. Kind of nice looking, but I have no idea what the heck. Something, Silver Cape, something. I don't know what the heck it is, but yeah, the interesting thing. Silvergate Three Stars Lodge. Uh, came out like in what, 1889? 18, 1889, oh my god. And it consolidated in the year 2000. Masonic temples, like the, it's like Masons, like the, the Freemasons, right? Those, those are the Freemasons. It's not like a, like a weird cult thing. Oh my god, I think it is. I don't know, but it might be. Let me get the heck out of here. Let's go watch out for those creepy Masons. I don't know, I don't, maybe it's not, but I don't know. Let's just get, let's get out. And on that random note, let me go back home now. And let's go, I'll show you what kind of movies I have. They're coming out. Oh yeah, come out, new stuff, come out. Nobody came out, or it's come out this week. Let's go review them right now. On to the movie review portion of the video. Nice stack of some uh, films right here. Talk about a nice little variety of some stuff. Start off here with Paramount Pictures. Early 2000s classic here in steelbook form. Here on Blu-ray, and that is the good old classic musical Chicago that won Best Picture and so much more in 2002. And this one up here, take out the little J card. You get some little special features at the back of everything, a little commentary, behind the scenes, and more. You also get a digital code with this bad boy. Here's the back of it, some of that razzle, dazzle him. And so this is definitely has some early 2000s vibes. Remember the hype of this thing back in the day? Pretty much brought musicals back. That thing with this when this came out up here. Pretty much takes place. You get Renee Zellweger, you get Richard Gere, and you get Catherine Zeta Jones, an all star cast up there. There's so much more in this movie. You get uh, Renee, uh, Renee, she plays a, a character named Roxy, and she has like this affair thing with her husband. She kills the husband, that kind of deal, and goes to jail, like, jail and, and, and she gets, hires this attorney, Richard Gere's character, high, and it's a high profile, a high profile case. But in prison, she meets up with Captain Zeta Jones, who also killed her husband, and all those other women in there that killed their husbands. This kind of murder uh, mystery musical, in a sense, it's kind of like a dark musical kind of in a way with murder and intrigue in this thing and the musical numbers in this thing are really classic really really good and all that jazz and just like you know just like some good classic songs in this thing great song numbers great uh you know just great musicals uh with the, with the way they, they did the sets and how the production of it really good stuff so if you're like musicals and this is a definitely a classic especially from the early early 2000s it definitely has all those um jump cuts it's kind of like those early 2000 edits so it's kind of like definitely a little bit dated with, with some of that stuff but it's all right we definitely can see that in this movie with some of the the way they uh, frame the shots and that kind of thing but definitely a fun one is this it looks amazing here on steelbook form i'm sure you guys the inside of it right up here take out the digital code and you get the blu-ray right up there and you get a nice picture of renee and Catherine zeta jones here's the back of it in all its glory Get the spine, Chicago, good, good stuff. So just a great classic, but if you like musicals, it's definitely a one to have for the collection, especially in this edition of it. And it definitely takes you back to that time We're in 2002, which is you know, 20 years ago now, which is crazy, 21 years ago now. And it's just like, oh my goodness, can't believe that came out a while back. But yeah, good stuff. And that is Chicago here from Pound Pictures, available now. And next up here, a nice good kung fu classic from the late 80s starring Jackie Chan. That is Dragons Forever here from 88 Films and distributed by MVD Entertainment. Beautiful Blu-ray box. It's also in 4K, but I believe it's not available right now, but the, the Blu-ray, this thing looks great. And I'll show you guys a little more of it inside. Got a booklet, poster, and the Blu-ray discs up there. Loaded up with all kinds of special features. Great all-star cast, kind of like a Three Stooges kind of vibe. So you get Jackie Chan, you get Sammo Hung, and you get uh, Wen Bay in this thing. And uh, all three great kung fu, you know, uh, martial art Hong Kong star. Uh, you know, action superstars. They're in this movie. You mentioned got Jackie Chan um, and them defending against like these chemical, uh, they have this chemical plant, these, these, these one bad guys, and it's them fighting against them in that chemical plant to take on the bad guys and the system. All kinds of great kung fu fights. He's never seen this one before, and just great 80s kung fu 
awesomeness. Great, great classic, classic, right? Here. Kung Fu classic in this thing. Great, great stuff. Great sequences. Amazing stuff with, you know, Jackie Chan added, you know, prime right up here and just like fake freaking just great stuff great fight se uh, sequences crazy stunts good just just fun music fun movie fun vibes a little bit like a love story kind of thing a little comedy action going on in this bad boy and so much more definitely recommend this it looks amazing here on blu-ray and did a fantastic job with this and just like so so good let's take a look at the contents inside it's a beautiful hardbound box set up here and you got the nice booklet, which I'll show right now. Really thick booklet, really good job. Some of the scenes in this thing, talk up of the movie, actors involved, actresses, great fun stuff. So very, it's like late 80s, I think it was made like in like 87, 88. So you got those vibes with the background, the music, the clothes, great stuff, man. This is super fun movie, I can't believe I've never seen it before until I get this to review. So good, you got some lobby cards up here which open those bad boys up right now. Bam, just wait for you guys to open these bad boys up. You get some nice lobby card goodness right up here. Check it out. And you get the black, some uh, black and white photos up here too of some of the imagery going on. Here is the disc. And you also get the original poster art of this bad boy too in case you wanna have it like that. And here is a poster of it, a big poster of this bad boy. And look at this thing, pretty big size poster you get the new commissioned artwork and you get the classic old school artwork too that look great if you like a, like like kung fu films if you like a little collection of them this will look great in a frame on the wall that looks super sick if you want to get this amazing movie it's like just this freaking great great kung fu good stuff and you like a fan of this film it looks really great here on blu-ray it's all kinds of features this thing great one to have the collection and add to if you have before nice upgrade that is dragons forever. Another good Kung Fu one up here, and that is from also from Films, the Magnificent Warriors up here. Sorry, Michelle Wei, or you. She's like a daredevil pilot. She's there to defend people that are occupying uh, China World War II, and that kind of deal in her, in her town. And so she goes there to defend against people like during World War II, and that kind of thing. It's great, like, cool you know, action sequences. Never seen this one before either, but really, really well made. Great shots. Great action, she's, she's amazing. And just all kinds, like just good, good stuff here on Blu-ray. You also got a, like, a lot of special features this bad boy too. Take a look inside up here. And here's the disc right up here. You got a little booklet inside of here of the film itself. So really, really good stuff. Really good, it was a good double feature watching Dragons Forever and this one, definitely enjoyed it. And you have uh, a little mini poster in this thing. A little bit smaller than the other poster I showed, but still really, really cool. You got the old school, which I love that with the characters right there, the, the Japanese characters. I love that. Original commission artwork and then the newly commissioned artwork of the Magnificent Warrior. So all kinds of great action in this thing. Fights, good story, just yeah, really, really well made. Good, good stuff. So I've never seen these ones before until now and this was great checking these out for the first time. So very, very cool. Like I said, these are all kinds of special features. Thing You get the original theatrical cut, brand new 2K restoration scan. Uh, subtitles, dubbed, archive interviews, and more of this thing. So if you're a fan of this film or kung fu films, this is a great one to have to the collection as Magnificent Warriors. And next up here, we get some horror kind of grossness right up here from under the films. And that is this one. I start off with this. That is Invitation Only. This movie right here is maybe about 2008 or 9. It's pretty much like a hostile movie where they get these uh, people, they get this career invitation, they go there, and they're the ones that are invited to the party about to get their slaughtered and like while these people watch what's going on this theatrical setting very strange kind of neat kind of bizarre kind of gross like stuff like hostile you'll definitely enjoy the grossness of invitation only this has a behind the scenes trailers and a photo gallery uh pretty cool one right here not nice like a b movie version of sort of like a hostile type flick and that is this definitely enjoyed it with that creepy and gross looking uh, cover art right there. The dude gets the staple gun with like skin and stuff like that on his face. So you kind of know what you're getting into. You see a cover like that. Definitely a pretty cool one. If you like some gross Asian cinema from like 2000, like the, like, like the late 2000s, you'll definitely enjoy Invitation only. Right up here, like, and also like a nice uh, mid 2000s horror flick. This, this, this one up here, uh, Nightmare Man, uh, directed by uh, Ralph uh, Rolf Knifsky, sorry, Scream Queen from back in the day. Tiffany Sheppis, she's right over there, Tiffany Sheppis. 
I remember heard a lot of those, a lot of horror flicks way, you know, back in the day. But she's in this thing, and pretty much about this, this weird mask, like this weird African mask, like a doom mask that's mailed in the mail. And she wears it, and like, uh, these, they said these weird paranoid dreams and seeing these things. And not sure if it's real or not, if these attacks going on. She's like paranoid and freaked out. All of a sudden, she gets like abandoned on the side of the road, and like, freaking cabin there. And she's not really sure like what's real, what's not with all these other people at this cabin. If like, is this nightmare man real or if it's this schizophrenia or whatever. So it's like all these kind of crazy things going on. It's kind of neat little fun, uh, you know, slasher flick. Kind of, kind of, kind of a B movie quality, but in a fun way. Uh, definitely pretty enjoyable is this. Some pretty good kill sequences. And it definitely takes you back to that time of like mid 2000s horror flicks. It has a nice making of, a special features commentary track, behind the scenes and more. I'll show you what's like inside. Kind of just a basic, get the basic disc in there. And then not no artwork like it goes along with it, like no booklet or nothing like that. But still a pretty cool one. And that is here, Nightmare Man. And right up here, I got a nice goofy one. Early 80s. I think it was like made like an 83. And that is from Trauma. And that is Stuck on You. And this one's just very wacky. Just pretty much like, like sex, kind of plays in the sex comedies of that time in a sense. And the wackiness of that. So it's kind of like a, like a capping at those kind of movies. And that is stuck on you very like wackiness uh not like horror at all but it's like goofy over the top comedy nudity goofiness tongue-in-cheek humor raunchy humor and i de definitely enjoyed this one it's just out there bizarre it's all over the place storyline wise that's okay it's one of those kind of things at that time so if you like kind of goofy over the top uh, like sex comedies and stuff poking fun of that you know kind of making fun of that genre you'll definitely enjoy uh, stuck on you some good, good cheese I don't don't expect nothing highly amazing but it's a it's amazing because it's so out there and goofy just all over the place with the comedy it's just as, as I said I've never seen this cover before and hearing about it but never seen it before to get this review and this one is pretty fun I like those kind of movies so it's kind of fun this one was poking fun of that whole genre and it's great because it's like that during like that you know 83 so it's like no holds barred with the humor so Good stuff like that, and this is a fun one up here that is stuck on you. Next up here, we get some great Italian horror cinema goodness, and that is from Full Moon, that's Scorpion with Two Tails, uh, directed by Sergio Martino, and this one up here, this woman, she's like weird visions, these weird nightmares going on. She feels with these nightmares and these dreams, there's something attached her, like a demon or something like that. It's like her trying to solve what's going on. And let's get John uh, Saxon in this thing too. And it looks really good on Blu-ray. So definitely a cool one to have. If you're a big fan of Italian cinema, and that kind of stuff up here. Definitely love it. Great music in this thing. Music by uh, Fabio Frizzi. So you get that great Italian uh, score in this thing too. That Those haunting scores of great Italian cinema of this. So very, very good stuff. That is Scorpion with two tails. Last but not least up here, we got a nice, uh, interesting, rough one to watch. That's a nice sexploitation kind of movie. And it's playing with fire right up here. The movie itself is very crazy by this guy who has his daughter held captive in this house, but he kidnaps this other woman right up here and it kind of resembles his daughter. And also in this house, and it's like this, this house is like full of like torture and sexual perversion and this crazy stuff. It's like her trying to get out of there. It's this, this crazy, like, uh, you know, like bizarre movie. And definitely a pretty interesting one to watch up here. And some of the stuff I really can't show has some duty in here. It has a lot of special features thing in a commentary track behind the scenes, interviews and more. Shot really well. Definitely says at times it's kind of a rough watch because it's like all this stuff with, with the content of it, but definitely filmed well, shot well, acted well, and that is playing with fire. And that's it for my review. So if you want to get all these films at and more, links down below for these bad boys. They should all be available now or coming out soon. Thanks so much for all you companies out there for sending this stuff to review. Definitely love it right there. Now back to the rest of this video. Bam! Just like that, back to our regular programming. And yes, hope you guys enjoy those movie reviews. The links down below for those companies at. I want to get those films and more. A lot of good variety of stuff I had to check out right there. So hope you guys enjoy that part. And pretty much that's it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun. Kind of a little, little video. Went, kind of went like, everywhere, you know. It was cool. Nice little food review stuff. Check out my, my friend Carla Hirsch, her sister-in-law's Monica's Kitchen. So if you want to check that out, awesome, awesome food. They'll be said again. They'll be on National City Mile of Cars here in San Diego between, I think, 17th or 18th Street. The model of cars between that and 24th Street. So somewhere up there, you'll see it starting this Tuesday. And let them know, Cinestalker Danny 
sent you your way to check out their food. Really good food, definitely good stuff. Definitely check them out, super, super fun right there. And pretty much that's it, that's it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you're to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see you then, and bye-bye.